are now watching Average is Failure, the Black Future Edition, with Born Heavy, aka Coach Born, where we talk about black social issues and black culture and how to power our Alright, how y'all doing? So, really quickly, I just thought about this and I said, let me share with you all, but one of the things that I want us to talk about, disregard this comfortable word right here, right? Um, but one of the things I want to talk about is, is relationships and especially dating and how do we start relationships off on the right foot? And one of the challenges that I've seen is that many of us have gotten with people in the past or we've been through failed relationship on, on you know, multiple levels, okay? Um, I myself, and, and by all means, I'm sharing with this because I personally, I've been through a divorce, Okay, and I don't want to see any of you all have to go through a divorce yourself. Okay, so one of the most important things, and this has been the most important thing that has happened to me in my life, is that I have become self aware. Okay, so mo most of the times when we get with somebody, whoever we get with, a pastor said this once, Pastor, uh, pastor Wright, Pastor Henry Wright said. Whoever it is that we get with is a reflection of who we are at the time that we got with them, okay? So as many times as you said you've gotten with somebody who was maybe a scumbag or what have you, to some extent it is a reflection of who you were at that time, okay? Because there was something that was causing you to miss who this person was. And in a real way, uh, many of us are getting with people that we maybe should not be getting with because we don't have an understanding of who we are, the good and the bad, okay? So, one of the things, when we talk about being self-aware, you have to ask yourself, you have to sit down and ask yourself, why am I attracting these people? Or, 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 or yeah, why am I attracting these people? So, let's talk about being self-aware really quickly. What I want you to ask yourself is, who am I, okay? So, what I want you to ask yourself is, what is my personality? Am I talkative? Am I quiet? How do I deal with other people in relationships, okay? Am I a person who likes to have a lot of my own space? Am I a person who likes to always be around the other person, okay? Am I a person who tends to be jealous? Am I a person who's uh, maybe not jealous enough, okay? Am I a person who likes to receive gifts? Am I a person who likes to give gifts? Do I like the sense of touch? Uh, do I... You know, there, there are a bunch of questions that you can ask, and not just those questions, okay? But you also have to figure out, well, what trajectory is my life path on? Am I a person that wants kids? Am I a person that, and you can rewind this video and, and, and go through those questions again, right? But am I a person who wants kids? Do I not want kids? Do I see myself continuing down this professional path? Do I want somebody who, who will be a spiritual leader for me in my home or who will be a spiritual leader alongside of me, okay? Do I not want to be somebody spiritual? Do I want to have somebody who's not overly spiritual, okay? Um, um, wh where do I see myself working? Where do I see myself living, okay? How many kids do I want to have? Do I want to have no kids, okay? And why? Because when you answer all of these questions about yourself, and those aren't the only ones, okay? How do I plan to handle my money and my finances? How would I like to handle money with the other person? Once we ask ourselves those questions and we really begin to start figuring out who we are, then we can ask ourselves this second question. We won't really get into it, but we but I'll just mention it, okay? Who should I be with? Okay, but before we even get to who should I be with, right? That's just something that we're gonna be keeping in the back of our minds. This is what I need us to do. I need us to ask ourselves this question: Are the are the are the the, the attributes that I just described about myself up here, right? Are my attributes? Negative, positive, both, this is 
or neither. Okay? And so here's what I mean by this question, okay? The reason why this question is important is because really and truly, everybody has various traits, okay? And I have traits that if I were to get with one person, they could work with. If I were to get with another person, they may, it may be a struggle for them, right? And just because you have different types of traits that maybe other people don't have does not mean that you cannot get with somebody else, okay? Um, who, who, who traditionally other people may not get with. But what it does mean is that you have to understand what adjustments you might have to make in order to be in a healthy relationship, okay? So, for instance, myself, let's take me, right? I'm a person, I live in my head a lot. I live in my head often. Um, I, like, I tend to like having my own space to do my own reading, to do my own reflecting, or what have you. I don't have to necessarily be around whoever it is. I don't have to be around, well, my current, my girlfriend, right? But just in general, um, even when I talk about family members or what have you, I don't have to be around even my friends all the time in order for me to feel loved, okay? But here's where I have to make adjustments because I may, if, if, I'm, if there are other people in my life who do like to have that, 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 that personal presence, they like to feel my presence, they like to be there in person, then I will have to make adjustments so that we can meet halfway, okay? Now, they'll have to make some adjustments as well. Why? Because they'll have to say, hmm, you know what? I can't smother Vaughn, but I do want to be in his presence for, for a while. So how can we, how can we come to a, a middle ground on that, okay? Now, that's important because in all relationships, all re relationships require compromise to some extent, okay? You will never find the perfect person, all right? So we have to be cognizant. We have to go not just based off of emotion okay but we have to go with our our cognitive abilities to make rational decisions okay good decision because not so and, and the reason why I say that is because it's not just that people people get with the wrong person okay Wow, and this is powerful. It's not, that, it's not just that people get with the wrong person, but this is the saddest part. There are many people who miss out on getting with the right person. <laughs> there are many people who, get, who, who, who miss out on getting with the right person because they didn't self-assess to figure out what it was they needed and because they didn't necessarily feel strictly an emotional pull all the time with this person. They said, ah, this person must not be for me and didn't even realize that they were put, missing out on maybe the person who would be the greatest person for them in their life. Why? Not because they were always going to be the person that was going to make you feel good, but they were going to be the person that was going to challenge you to, to be the right person. They were going to be the person that didn't allow you to become comfortable in mediocrity. Okay. They, they, they were the right person in the ways that you needed to grow for your life in order for you to get the most out of your life and you missed out on it. Okay. So, maybe this, 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 this will be how to not miss out on the right person, okay? So, anyway, I hope that this is helpful for you all. If I can answer any more questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'm just going to do the best that I can to share some of this information with you, okay? Anyway, I'm out of here. Later.